Okay, I'm here today to teach you some things about archery. They require skill, not just pulling back a string and letting go. Now, before shooting arrows, you have to take the first step. There's a knock right here at the end of the bow where the string goes in. And once you have that end in, you have to do the other. And that's the tricky part, depending on what kind of bow you have. Now what you gotta do is hold this end of the bow behind your leg, so you can keep it still. Right. And you gotta bend this down, holding the string in the other hand, and just loop it over the top. Into the knot. Now there are a few safety rules everyone needs to know before using one of these. First, if you have someone with you, make sure the other person is behind you. Because otherwise, if you shoot it wrong or something, it could swerve or ricochet and hit someone. Alright, now this is an arm guard. Its purpose is kind of self-explanatory. It's meant to protect this side of your arm from the bowstring. If you pull it back with your right hand, like me, then you want the arm guard to be on your left arm. Because, see, when you pull back the bowstring and let it go, it shoots back with a lot of force and it can scratch your arm if it's not protected. You also want to have a glove or a finger guard on the hand that pulls back the bowstring. So when you pull back the bowstring, since there's heavy pressure on it, it can hurt your fingers real bad if they're not protected. So it's usually best to wear like a thick glove. This bow has an 8 to 12 pound draw weight, which is considered basic, I guess, since a lot of bows have between 20 and 60 pounds draw weight. It's an important thing to do, because when you're shooting a bow, um, when it's at full draw, there's the largest amount of pressure on it. So if you pull it back to full draw, it'll get shot with a lot more force and more distance. But don't pull it back further than full draw. Sounds impossible, right? <laughs> Wrong. Two different times, I accidentally pulled the arrow back too far, and it got stuck between this and the string. Now when that happens, you gotta pull it back even farther to get it out. But you gotta be careful when you're doing that, because if you don't pull it back right or something, if you release it wrong, it can just zoom right past your head or swerve. It's really frustrating, but at least it's possible. But just be careful. Now to the piece de resistance. Arrows. Now see, this is the kind of arrow you want to use. Its arm length, which is an important factor with arrows because of full draw. It's orange, so you can see easier when recovering it and it still has all three feathers on it, so it can fly straight. This is the kind you don't want to get. It's made of aluminum, it's light, and it's hollow. When it hits something hard enough, it'll bend, and then boom, it'll never fly right again. Now this is the way you want to hold the arrows into the string. If you keep your fingers hooked and tight like this, you'll be able to hold it for a while. So there's a slot at the end of the knock here that holds it in place, but you don't want to pull it like this with your forefinger and thumb. It'll slide right out of your grip and fly wrong. Watch. The hardest part in archery is aiming correctly so the arrow will fly where you want it to. And here's the way I aim it. Pull it back to full draw, hold it close to my jaw. There is one more thing I want to show you that I haven't completely figured out, but trying to. It's not something you just learn overnight. Archery takes a long time to master, but if you practice hard enough, the results are worth it. Archery is something I recommend others to try. So, hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you're thinking about trying out a bow, then good luck with it.